What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we'll be talking about best upcoming movies. Blade might be a little less bloody when he makes his debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. After Wesley Snipes previously played the popular Marvel character in a trilogy of R-rated movies, Blade will be rebooted with Marshala Ali taking over the role in an upcoming movie from Marvel Studios. Many fans had been hoping for the reboot to get an R rating like its predecessors, but recent comments from Marvel head Kevin Feige seem to suggest that this isn't the case. It's been confirmed that Deadpool 3 will be R-rated during Disney's TCA event that Deadpool 3 is the only R-rated movie currently in development at Marvel Studios. If the Blade reboot is already in development, this essentially means that Feige doesn't expect the new Blade movie to have an R-rating. During quarantine, Gunn has been an exceptionally busy man. The Suicide Squad wrapped filming just before lockdown in February 2020. And in the downtime between that and The Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, Gunn wrote an entire Peacemaker spin-off starring John Cena. Peacemaker is currently filming, and as he's busy working, Gunn often takes to social media to interact with fans. Gunn answers questions about current projects, past films, and even upcoming projects. In a recent and rather short tweet, Gunn finally confirmed that Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 will enter production later this year. A new rumor claims to know the identity of the villain who will be tormenting Miles Morales in upcoming animated sequel, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2. Not much is known about the follow-up at this stage, but a source has allegedly revealed that bad guy duties will fall to obscure Spider-Man and Daredevil villain, The Spot. The Spot is a member of Marvel's rogue gallery, and he has the ability to access and manipulate interdimensional portals which become adhered to his skin as a result of another classic comic book lab accident. The Spot is able to transport himself or any part of his body, though he often just uses the portals, or spots, to make his superhero foes punch themselves in the face. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 is currently slated to release October 7, 2022. According to The Wrap, actress Rachel Ziegler has been cast in a mystery role for Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Her character's identity has yet to be revealed, but Ziegler is set to be playing a key character in the sequel. The 19-year-old star is slated to make her acting debut in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story remake, which is scheduled to be released in theaters late 2021. Ziegler confirmed her audition on social media. A prequel film to horror author Stephen King's Pet Cemetery is officially on its way from Paramount Plus. With Pet Cemetery not really the sort of story that can be repeatedly rebooted with varying results, Paramount Plus has decided to take things in the opposite direction. According to Variety, a Pet Cemetery prequel is on its way. At present, information on the newly announced project is unsurprisingly sparse. Though what is known is that it will reunite the 2019 reboot's producer, Lorenzo de Bonaventura, and its writer, Jeff Bueller. The upcoming film has been eagerly awaited despite past failures and thanks to Deadline's reporting. It's clear just how tremendously anticipated the new film is. With an astonishing 116 million views in its first week of existence, the Mortal Kombat Red Band trailer is now the most viewed Red Band trailer of all time surpassing the trailer success of superhero blockbusters, Deadpool and Logan. The upcoming sequel, Paranormal Activity 7, will officially debut on Paramount+. Plus. The long-running horror franchise launched in 2007 with Paranormal Activity, which centers on a couple who become increasingly terrorized by a supernatural presence after moving into their new home. It became one of the most profitable films in Hollywood history thanks to its effective use of the found footage format, which allowed it to be shot for roughly $215,000. Five more films followed, all of which achieved enormous box office success for Paramount Pictures and production company Blumhouse. The franchise remains one of the most lucrative in the Paramount Library, which will become available to subscribers once CBS All Access relaunches as Paramount Plus this month. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.